So this is methylene blue. And I have this glass blue eyedropper just to make sure that I know that I'm using that for the methylene blue because it's really blue. And you want to make sure to keep the methylene blue separate uh, from the tank in the area that you're hatching it. I'm going to be putting the methylene blue in this jug here that is, as I've stated before, higher than the water line. You put about 10 drops per one gallon of water when applying treatment. I'll be putting about four or five, maybe six drops into this jug. And I'll be doing that before I transfer the uh, eggs that are just about ready to be moved over. Uh, I'm gonna be adding methylene blue now into this jug uh, and letting it uh, mix for a little bit. And then I'll be adding in the spawning cone over there uh, so that they can get treated with methylene blue. And then after several days, we'll be transferring the wigglers into this tank uh, and removing that jug. And we'll go over that in another section. But again, very important. You wanna leave as much methylene blue out of your final tank that you have your uh, angel fish wigglers uh, as possible. So uh, we'll go over that uh, in a few days. Well, when they hatch but for now I'm gonna set up the so I'm gonna use that dropper I usually stick into this using this brand right here but I'll drop uh, from this into that jug and then I'll let it swirl for a little bit and then we grab that cone and move it fairly quickly and put it upside down and get it fairly close to the uh, air stone in there so that the eggs get aeration and then we wait. Well, it's ready to do the transfer. I get a little nervous, it doesn't really hurt, but they used to just let me uh, pull the cone out, but now they've gotten a little nippy over time as they know that I'm taking the eggs out, but I wish they would be able to hatch them on their own, but they're just not able to do so. So I'm gonna do it and then I will show the cone inside the container that we've got set up over here. As you can see, I've added uh, methylene blue to the container. You know that the rest of the tank is not blue because we want to keep that separated and I've got my temperature to where I want it. So I'll be putting the cone uh, face down uh, and close to the uh, air stone there so that it's getting aeration and I'll let it sit for three to four days. My almost, they almost bit me when I moved it over. As you can see, I've put the cone, spawning cone inside the methylene blue jug and kept it separate from the tank. And I wasn't paying attention when I was doing the video, but I keep a little sucker fish in there to help with the tank and it started to get to the eggs. So I got just a nick of time, but you can see that it's aerating the cone. Some of the eggs have come off, but that's okay. Uh, sometimes I'll even just scrape the cone completely. Um, so we'll let this sit and when they hatch and become wigglers, we'll talk again. Uh, if you like this video, please make sure to like me on YouTube. Uh, this is Maddie with MeFishies.com.